All right, guys, hopefully this video will answer why I choose to use the smaller lawnmowers on my lawn than the bigger lawnmowers. Now, listen, guys, maybe a couple of minute videos. Your height of cut is always going to change. All right. Regardless of what you got set here, this mower weighs four times as much as that mower. The HOC on that is two inches. The HOC, when I cut this, was two inches and I adjust it. Let me show you what I'm talking about. If you look down through here, I went down here at 1.75. You can see swirl marks. And the reason you're getting this is because the lawn is not level. 95% of America does not have a level lawn. So I'm not going to get into that. But guys get caught up in the YouTube videos and all these other videos about lawn leveling. And that's great to do. But if you don't do it, and 95% of us don't, you got to watch your HOC. You always hear me talking about sweet spots on your particular lawnmower. All lawnmowers cut differently. That's 1.75 going down through there. With this heat and humidity, it's going to take a couple of weeks for that to recover. If you look straight ahead, I cut here at two inches on the big boy. You can slightly see the swirl marks. If you go over, I cut it at two and a quarter, two and one fourth. Looks a whole lot better. My um, strips are cut at two inches, my HOC, and I pull a tape measure out, measure from the ground up to the <clears throat> bottom of the deck. That's two inches and it's still green. The point, <coughs> excuse me guys, the point, the point I'm trying to make is your cutting height is gonna always change. And I'm gonna show you this real quick. By the way, when you start your lawnmower, don't start it up on the grass guys, because if you got a rotary mower, it's gonna make swirl marks in that spot. Now I do this in one hand. Customers gonna be a whole lot happier when they see me cutting and their yard looking like that. The issue is you're going out every two to three weeks to cut these people's yard, and by the time you get there, it's tall. I cut this over here at two inches with that lawnmower. Now, one of the other differences is this too, guys. When you have a battery mower, <coughs> your battery mower is gonna be a whole lot lighter. <coughs> So therefore, it may bounce around a little bit more also. I get a precise cut with this more because it's weighted, it's well balanced, and it just has a lot more power. But that's a $2,000 lawnmower, guys. This one right here, 52 inch Toro, 2,000 model, not the 4,000, all the other ones. It's a seven, $8,000 lawnmower. <clears throat> my battery lawnmower is a $700 lawnmower so that's going to be a difference in cut but a lot of people always ask me why I don't use the big one a lot it's because you know I, it's just I get a way better cut with that small especially with this one right here but I get a better cut you saw me cutting with that Ryobi at 1.5 great cut but to keep this greenness, guys, I'm gonna have to keep skimming over it because if I let it go a week and come back at two inches, it's gonna turn brown. So guys, hopefully that answer your question why I choose to use the little bitty baby moors over the bigger moors. <laughs>